Hi, I'm Jesse Moan with the University of Alaska Fairbanks Cooperative Extension Services Integrated Pest Management Program. This video will show you how to collect, package, and submit insect samples for identification, as well as how to submit pictures if you don't have a physical sample. Insects are common parts of our yard and garden, but sometimes we don't know if they're good guys or if they're bad guys. If you find an insect in your yard or garden and aren't sure what it is or aren't sure if it's something that you should do something about, we can help. Having a physical sample of your specimen will lead to the most reliable identification. If you observe insects feeding on your plants, the first step is to collect some. Capture insects carefully to avoid damaging them. If possible, collect many individuals. If the insects look different or are from different plants, please place them in different containers. Once collected, insects should be killed by placing them in the freezer for a few days. Please do not submit live insects for identification. Insects collected on sticky cards or insects collected and sandwiched between tape may take more time to assess and may not allow for exact identification. These collecting methods can obscure important features that can help with identification. Collected insects should be packaged well to avoid damage. If you are hand delivering specimens to your local office, usually a zip top bag is sufficient. Make sure to deliver the specimens shortly after removing them from the freezer to avoid a buildup of moisture, as this can lead to the specimens molding and rotting. If you are mailing in specimens, they should be placed in crush-proof containers and can be lightly packed with tissue or cotton. You may also include a sample of damage or submit images of the damage to supplement the insect specimen. Place your container in a sturdy box for mailing. The most important thing about mailing specimens is that they do not get crushed. If you place a zip top bag in an envelope, the outcome for the specimen is not going to be great. Before you seal up your box, make sure to include the following information with your specimen. Your contact information, including name, phone number, and email address, a location of the collection, and a description of the problem, such as where or on what the insects have been found, what kind of damage you are observing, and what other concerns you may have about the issue or the pest. If hand delivering or mailing specimens, contact your local office about hours of operation and availability of staff to accept specimens for identification. Images are a good way to get your insect pests identified, but there are limitations for identifications from photos. Here are some tips to submit digital photos to ensure the most reliable identification. Check photos for clarity before submitting. When photographing an insect, take lots of pictures from multiple angles, but only submit the best ones. Submit original, unedited photos. Any photo resizing or editing is best left to the discretion of the identifier for his or her needs. Include a size reference in your photo. Having a frame of reference for the size of the organism is extremely helpful for identification. A small ruler or standard sized object, such as a coin, pencil, or key will work. Include as much information about the subject as possible. Similar to the information requested for physical specimens, contextual information is very important for images as well. Including a description of the site, situation, or damage can be very helpful in determining the identification of the pest. Once you have taken photos, you can submit them through our online pest portal where you can upload your photos and fill out a short form with your contact information and description of the damage or pest. Thanks for watching our video and learning how to submit your insect specimens for identification. For more information on plant pests, invasive species, and integrated pest management, check out our IPM website.